How to make an advent calendar in Purple Mash. First, you need to do two things. You need to set up the to-do and create a display board for the children to share the work to to make the advent calendar. To begin with, we're going to go to Tools. In the Tools, you'll find two create a story, the first tool in English. When we access Tools, we're actually going to click on Set To Do and fill in all the details. We could record audio instructions, telling children to put the number on the first page and their image or activity on the second. Once you've done that, select your class and set the to-do. You'll find the to-do in the to-dos area. We're now going to create the display board. Click on admin and then manage display boards and then click on the plus to create a new one. Pop the title in and the description. You can then select an icon. If you search for Christmas, you'll find Christmas clip art come up that you can use for your icon. We'll select the gingerbread man. I'm going to choose that only staff can put work on this board and set it for my class, Dolphin's class. Once I've saved the board, I can preview it. To begin with, there will be nothing on the board. We're now in Purple Mash as a child, Alfie. Alfie's in Dolphin's class. Alfie's got an alert to say he's got a new to-do, and when he goes to to-dos, he'll see the to-do there. He could listen to the audio instructions you've left, and then click on Start. In here, Alfie's going to choose Adventure Story. At the top, Alfie's going to select a sprite. He's then going to click on the clip art button to bring in the number. He could draw the number if he wanted to. We're just going to search the clip art library for number and import number one. Number one can now be animated. Once we're happy, we click on OK and then Alfie's going to make the number a little bit bigger and pop it in the middle. Underneath you'll see a text box Alfie can input any text he'd like to in here. Alfie's also going to import and animate a few stars. Alfie can click on play to see what it looks like. Alfie can click on the arrow to the bottom right to add content to day one. He could use the drawing tools on the left to draw in this space here. He could click on the microphone at the top to add some sound, a recording of himself reading a poem or a joke, or selecting a sound effect such as magic. If Alfie's created an image in another program such as To Paint a Picture, he can click on the backgrounds and then choose the file from his work area. This will import his painting into To Create a Story. He could then write a message underneath. Let's have a quick look at both page 1 and 2 and then exit and choose save and exit. Once Alfie's done this, Alfie can hand in his work. This is Joshua's. Joshua is choosing to make his background blue using the fill tool. He's then going to import a number using a sprite and animate it. Once he has done this and resized his number, he's actually going to add a door that you can go through to access the next page. He's going to do this by adding a sprite. Underneath animation and sound, you've got a go to page option. When Joshua clicks on this, he can select page two and click on okay. When we play, if we click on the door, we're taken straight to page 2. Now back in as the teacher, I'm ready to make my advent calendar. I'm going to go into the to-dos area and in advent calendar I'm going to click on view folder. This will bring me to a folder with all the children's work in. Here I can multiple select the files and then from the purple menu across the top I can click and select to display board. 
In here, I can click on Advent Calendar and then push Work to the board. Now I've done this, if I go to Sharing and access the Advent Calendar display board, I'll see the children's work. Each day, anybody with access to that display board can click on the day and view the surprise. You can create a link or QR code for your advent calendar to share it with parents. You go to Admin and Manage Display Boards. Select the advent calendar display board on the left and then tick Visible to Public. Scroll down and click on Save and then OK. Now you can get links and you'll see the QR code, the URL and some embed code in case you wanted to embed it into your school website. Good luck making your advent calendars.